guy who I hurt like during the game. I don't know if he's still here. My bad. Oh, he's right there. My bad. Man. <laughs> but uh, but uh, we're just gonna hear the message. Make sure you uh, write in your name in the board. And let's just uh, since I have you guys saying, let's just pray real quick. If you guys could just bow your heads. Thank you, God, for this message that you're about to give us, Heavenly Father. Lord, I pray, Heavenly Father, that you use me, God, in your word, Heavenly Father. I pray, Heavenly Father, we may be able to speak, Heavenly Father, about your word, that it may grow in our hearts and that we may be able to learn something from it. And, Lord, may we be able to apply it to our own lives. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we all say Amen. 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 All right, you guys can sit down. <laughs> Hallelujah. For those who don't know me, which is probably a lot, probably a lot of this, I, my name's Isaac. Um, I go to Linaje Fujido on the west side. And uh, today, today's message, I wanted to bring about something that I think many of us know a lot about. Uh, at least I know a lot about. It, uh, the word is called jealousy. How many of you guys know what jealousy is? Yeah? Uh, I know it a little too well. Um, there's many different kinds of jealousy. There's a good kind and a bad kind. And, um, how many guys have ever felt jealous of someone? And be honest, just don't raise your hand. You don't gotta raise your hand. I know I have. I, I, I know I have. And, and, and where does this come from? There, there's good kind of jealousy that comes from even God. Because God, even in the commandments, God says He is a jealous God. What? What does that mean? He's a jealous God. He says, you know what? Uh, in the word it says, uh, you shall not have no other gods before me, for I am a jealous God. And then there's also another kind of uh, jealous jealousy that we have in our own selves, where, you know what? We want stuff that's not ours. And like someone else's uh, work for it, and, and we just want to take it from them. I, I got a message from Proverbs 27. Four. And I'm going to read it to you in uh, English. And it says, how many of you guys brought your Bible? Anyone? Alright, there's one, there's two. How many of you guys have your Bible in like your phone or something? <coughs> yeah? Like a few of you? Alright, that's good. At least it's somewhere. So it comes from Proverbs 27. Verse 4. And it says, Wrath is cruel. I want you guys to listen to this. It says, Wrath is cruel, and anger is outrageous. But who is able to stand before jealousy? Jealousy is a strong emotion. It's a strong emotion. It, it, it's a, it drives people to do crazy things. Like in the Bible, it talks about the first murder. The first murder in the Bible. If you guys know your Bibles, it's talking about Cain and Abel. Cain had a brother named Abel, and God said, bring a sacrifice to me, but let it shed a blood. And Cain, he was a man who took care of uh, fruits and vegetables <coughs> and harvest and stuff like that. And he wanted to bring stuff that wasn't suitable for God. And then his brother brought what God wanted. And when it come down to it, you know what? He noticed that his brother Abel, uh, he pleased God. And with his offering, which he did not obey God's rule, he didn't get that. So he felt jealous. There was some jealousy in, in that in that brotherhood. Uh, he felt so jealous that he decided to take his uh, take his brother's life. You know, sometimes we get so jealous of uh, when a person gets attention uh, more than us. So, some of us, like if someone doesn't get it, if someone gets it and we don't, we get jealous. We, we say, "Ah, oh, why? Why? Why is that?" You know, uh, so, some examples is like. People don't mind being good looking until they find another person who's better looking than them. And when you get into a room, you're like, oh man, man, that brother's better looking than me. I hate the guy. Or, or uh, you have a nice car and you bought it, or you got it paid, and it's a 2012, and then here comes another brother with a 2013, 14 even. Oh man, I don't even like my car anymore, the one that I got. It, we have it in us, this, this jealousy that, that uh, we need to face. Because where does jealousy come from? Well, it originally comes from the devil. Because the devil wanted to be like God. The uh, devil wanted to be God in, in his own, uh, own ways. And some of us, we want to 
we want to uh, be the own rulers of our own life. We, we say, you know what, I don't need God. You know what, I, I've even heard some religions where they say, you know what, I am God. That, that's such a, such a blasphemy. Like so many people say, I am God. And then I ask them, well, how'd you get like that? Well, I, I found out later in life that uh, it turns out someone taught it to me. Well, if someone had to teach you that you're God, well, you're not a very omnipresent God. You don't really know everything if you didn't even know that you were God. And there's, there's one sign of maturity and spiritual maturity. That, that's how we get tested. Sometimes we get tested in jealousy. Sometimes a way to, to know if we're jealous or not is when our brother, our brother gets something and we rejoice with them. And we say, you know, glory to God, you got that promotion? All right, you found that $100 bill? Glory to God. But a real test is like, when someone gets something, we get jealous. We're like, first thought, how come it didn't happen to me? How come it wasn't me? How come I didn't find that 20? How come I didn't win that lottery? We, we, get, so, we get so jealous. And, and that's the way we, uh, we see ourselves. Because uh, we sometimes feel that emotion. We're saying, you know what? I'm carnal, and, and this flesh, it's going to want things of the flesh, and jealousy comes from the flesh. Uh, how many of you guys know what I'm talking about? You guys know what I'm talking about? Jealousy. Uh, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, I want you guys to take an experiment. I want you to take like 10 seven-year-olds. Take them all to McDonald's. Yeah, you know how they love going to McDonald's? I say McDonald's is the devil because all that uh, all that grease and stuff. You take them to ten, and you take ten of them to McDonald's, and you give every single one a cone. One, two, three. You give them all a vanilla cone, and then you get to the last one, and you know what? You give him a McFlurry, cookies and cream. Everyone else is cool that they got their ice cream until that person got a McFlurry. You're saying, oh brother, you got a McFlurry. You got Oreos, you got cookies and cream, how come I didn't get that? Many, many of us are like that. Or if not, think of it like this. Like you take three volunteers, three strong men, and I get you guys to do some yard work, and I say, you know what, brother, for your trouble, here's a five. Here's a five. But you know what, brother, you, you, you get a 20. And you're like, all right, I got a 20. Load it up. Now let's get these two brothers are like, how come I didn't get that? What's up with that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong kind of jealousy. Like, uh, we, we don't like to see other brothers prosper. We don't like other brothers to get stuff unless it happens to us. But there's also a good kind of jealousy, guys. There's a good kind of jealousy when it comes to marriage. You know, um, with, with God, when we make a covenant with God, uh, the spouse should have that jealousy. You know what? Just like God doesn't want us to go with other God. Because there is no other God. There is one, only one omnipresent God. And for a family, for a husband, to go around and give the attention to someone else, you know what? That, 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 that's a good kind of jealousy. That's, you got to be concerned of uh, where you spend your time. you got to be concerned of who's taking the time of your spouse. Because that, that, that's a sign of that's a godly kind of jealousy. There's many jealousy jealousy stories in the Bible. They're talking about this great uh, king named Saul. And he was a mighty king and he vanquished his enemies until one day he had to fight against Goliath. And no one else wanted to fight against Goliath. This was this tall, humongous warrior that has been fighting since his youth, has been killing since his youth. And no one else has guts to go up against him except one man named David. A, a small shepherd boy who gets a rock and a sling and he goes against that Goliath in the name of Jesus and he hits the Goliath in his head and he dies and people give glory in the Bible it says there was a song that goes uh, Saul mató a mil pero David a su vez mil ten thousand he, he started to have envy of David because people started to look up to David. He was a king himself, but people started chanting David's name. They're like, David, David, mighty David, mighty man. People started to give worship to him. You know, you know, in that story, jealousy can also make us think thoughts that are not there. Like, they make us uh, think 
the thought, but they accelerate it. They make it dramatic. God forbid uh, a husband flirting with another person, but if God forbid that a husband went with another woman and the original husband and wife, they consolidate, they, they try and make it work. Uh, when, when the person is unfaithful and has done that before, how does the wife feel? All the time she's wondering, where is he? What is he doing? But who is he with? Ah, oh, who's he with right now? Uh, we get we get to thinking that uh, you know what this person is just cheating on me. This person is, 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 is we we tend to think worse thoughts in every in everything. When when we start to feel jealousy, it, it kind of corrupts us from the inside. But uh, how do we get rid of this? Uh, how do we get rid of what's happening inside? You know what? There's only one way. There's only one way when we're dealing with this jealousy. And that's to ask God for His Holy Spirit. God gives us His Holy Spirit. We need to ask for it. Next time we, we feel jealous at Him, you know, another person got a promotion and I didn't get it. Next time we're something, someone has something I don't, I don't have and I want it. You know what? We are reminded. The Holy Spirit reminds us. You know what? This is jealous. This is wrong. Because it says that the jealousy will not inherit the kingdom of God. This is a serious thing that we have to overcome in our own character, in our own ways of thinking. We have to ask God, you know, God, uh, I feel that jealousy. I feel that jealousy coming up. It's good because God is showing us through uh, His Holy Spirit that He's talking to us. You know what? I shouldn't feel this. Way. I'm going to ask God that you give me your Holy Spirit to control me, to change me. That, that, that's what God uh, wants us to do, guys. And we have to overcome this jealousy. And uh, I, want, I want you guys to leave off with that. Just basically knowing uh, when that happens again. Ask for the Lord to help us out with, uh, with jealousy in our own lives. Okay? So this is, this is the message. I'm done. If you guys could just bow your heads and we'll finish it. Thank you God for, for your message, Heavenly Father, Lord. I thank you for every single one here, Heavenly Father. I pray, Heavenly Father, that we go home safe, Heavenly Father. And all things, Heavenly Father, are done, Heavenly Father, to protect us, to bless us. Thank you, God, for having us here this Saturday. Thank you that no one got severely injured. Thank you, God. Bless you, two teams. In the name of Jesus, we are dismissed. Amen.